Welcome to Let's Play Toka Championship Racing Part 5, and we're going to Thruxton for rounds 5 and 6, or as I like to call it, Truxton. This is the fastest circuit of the series, Thruxton, where we will be racing twice this year. Today, we're here for rounds 5 and 6. The first qualifying round is just about to start, so let's go down to the track and take a look. Alright, so here we go for races 5 and 6 of Thruxton, or Truxton, because CGR. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take care of qualifying, and I'll be right back. With only hundreds of a second separating the first few drivers, we should have a cracker of a race on our hands. A little more than a few hundredths, uh, Tiff. Bila kind of got pulled by almost four tenths. Meanwhile, looks like I'm starting towards the back. Alrighty, where am I starting? Oh, ninth, okay. It's not that far back. But still, I qualified ninth, so... This is probably one of the worst tracks in the game. Well, it's time to go down to the track, where the cars are ready to start the first race. Yeah, what, what Tiff said. Anyways, this is probably one of the worst tracks in the game. Because, like Tiff said at the beginning, um, this is a high-speed track. And you know what's easy to do at high speeds in this game? Also, fuck you, Vauxhall. Damn, I just cannot accelerate off the line, apparently. Holy shit. Everyone is bullying everyone. Help, I'm scared. Ah, uh, pushing my teammate. Bump draft victory. Go. Anyways, uh, yeah. It is very, very, very easy to spin into the grass in this track, especially pretty much from here all the way to the final chicane. A Minyu, best name. I mean, it's his real name, Alan Minyu. Because these are all real BTCC drivers from the 1997 championship. So, yeah. This entire part of the track, you have to be so very careful with your steering input in this game. Like, this would be an awesome track if it didn't have the, you know, physics of this game. Like, this is a pretty cool track. It's very simple, as most, most British tracks admittedly are. Like, most of the, you know, more just used for BTCC tracks. But, uh... Yeah, this game's physics, that high-speed section can easily fuck my day up, and it probably will. I have to go around it 39 more times in this visit. So yeah, but anyways, yeah. I'm going to just refer to this place as Truxton, because of, you know, classic game room and Truxton, and... Yeah. Yeah. Climbed up the third, that's cool behind the two uh, Renaults. So once again, good qualifying from the Audis, but uh, when it comes to race time, the Renaults are superior. Hooray. And we have reached top speed of the Peugeot, 145 miles per hour. Holy cow, this race is long. Each race is about a half hour in length. So yeah, races can be, races are a bit in the lengthy side. Not dead, almost died, but not dead. It's also very easy to lose control when trying to go around that final chicane. Luckily, I have not spun yet. I did on my last qualifying lap there, but not in the race yet. Oh god going a lot slower around that corner than I was expecting. Congratulations, you can now use your computer again, tester. Oh shit, here comes big angry Reno. Who's gonna have the higher top speed? Oh god! Well, I guess we're not gonna find out this lap. Because uh, he went for it, and it ended in a spin for both of us. Oi! Hi. <laughs> What's up, Honda? Honda guy? Well, 
So about that visual damage. Now you see it. Rear bumper's gone. Deck lid is completely fucked. Or boot lid. Since we are in BTCC. Gotta call it the boot lid, not the trunk lid. Fuck all y'all. And back windshield is, uh, destroyed. <laughs> Welcome to BTCC, pretty much. Also, both of my, uh, rear lights are just gone. They're just completely broken. It's fine, it's okay. Oh, the right rear light still works. The right brake light. Hello, excuse me. That didn't work. Toka Demolition Derby. You mean a normal BTCC race? Let's try to get through this lap without dying. Look at how bent my wing is. It is quite bent. Audi stalking me. Like we're even on top speed. Easy through the chicane, gain a shit ton of time, and take third place. Nice. Oh, wow, there's a Honda in second. Cool beans. Almost lost it. We're good. Everything's fine. Three seconds behind the Honda. It's pretty much impossible to gain time through the section. It's more just trying to not spin. Trying to not lose control of the car. It's literally the goal for this entire like two thirds of the track. Possibly a little more. I don't know. This is a really long st section. Caught the grass a little bit. Oh. Almost spun it. In the chicane where we're good. Entering the chicane. Alright, five down, fifteen to go. Interesting to see how much of a lead menu has over this Honda. Hey, speed, bro. Oh, hi, Honda. No, thank you. I'm just gonna strategically touch the grass a little bit there. I do not want to do anything door relating to door-to-door -door racing down this high-speed section. Almost lost it. We're good. We're good. Everything is fine. I lost a lot of time this lap. Oh my god. Again, almost spun it into the chicane. Hey, there's leader. He is very close. I'm pretty sure he went off in this section, because, uh, he was a lot, definitely a lot further away. Then he is now. Yes, I did watch the French Grand Prix. I recorded the review of it, just need to edit it and upload it.
because people care so much about my opinion. Huh. <laughs> also, I don't know how that didn't end in a massive spin for me. That very aggressive overtake from the Honda. Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting the car to break traction there. But this is Toga. The car can break traction anywhere and spin. You don't even need to turn the car, just go in a straight line. Psst, spin. Now, Harry, it's a 90 hour review. So is Paul Ricard bad? Should they replace with Magni Core? Honestly, I like Paul Ricard. I thought it was good. Spoiler alert for the review. So my winning streak is uh, in jeopardy here. It seems. Cause I just cannot seem to uh, get around this Hana and stay in front of him. Ooh, back markers. Ooh, oversteer. Damn it. I had him too. But no bus on it. Rip. So there's the other Renault. Appreciate that. I think this is revenge for all the punting I've been doing at a uh, I did at Donington and Silverstone. Cause holy shit, this race is uh, not going well. I must say. Surprised with the amount of people in the stands considering the World Cup. Well, I mean, it is the return of the French Grand Prix. So, you know. The French fans haven't had a Grand Prix in I don't know how long it's been, actually, so yeah. EU wants to ban memes. I've seen a lot of memes about EU wanting to ban memes. Kind of hilarious. And also, good fucking luck. Okay, nine laps complete, two seconds behind the second Renault, who is going through the back markers. Oh, and the Honda is also there. Two birds with one stone. Uh, nope, not quite. Shit. Yeah, so the start of the race did cause a lot of controversy, and I have absolutely no idea why. There was nothing controversial about that track. Vettel made a small mistake. And when you make a small mistake with that little room, what happens? Crashes happen. Wow. How fucking incredible of a concept. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think he even deserved a penalty. Like he made a he made a mistake. It wasn't like a deliberate crash. I mean, you know, the track time and track position loss I thought was penalty enough. Halfway through our first race at Truxton. I remember people blaming Vettel for that crash. I mean, it is his fault. Like, it, you know, Vettel did cause the crash because he did have that small lockup. 
which sent him understeering into Bothass. Like, he's absolutely at fault, but again, it was a th it was an accident caused by a very small mistake that anybody could have made. B what do you expect? <laughs> Like, what do you actually expect? It was Hamilton's fault? How is it Hamilton's fault? Hamilton did nothing. <laughs> like, he just ran a defensive line into turn one. That's it. Like, Hamilton did nothing to cause that accident. He did everything in his rights as the leader. To protect his lead into turn one without, you know, being an asshole. Alright, so I'm finally, like, firmly in second. I got a seven second gap to the leader with nine laps to go. Uh, or uh, a lot less than that now because I see him just in front of me. Again, Hamilton did not cause the crash. Hamilton's name should be taken out of any discussion about that crash because he was not involved in it in any way, shape, or form. Uh, speed row because he switched to softer tires right at the end of the race. That's probably why he got the fastest lap. I mean, he, he probably did actually have damage after that crash. Considering he just couldn't keep up with Vettel. And like, you know, fresh tires and light fuel easily trumps slight floor damage. Damn it. Got stuck in the gravel. The gravel, by the way, in this game, it, f it works like gravel. It slows you the fuck down. It's almost like Forza Sticky Grass, except it's realistic. Menu's gone away because of that mistake. It's okay, I can reel him back in. Fuck! Perfect. Perfect entry. <laughs> Alright. No, I mean, when I, when I say Bottas is, is, like, he could have had floor damage which slowed him down. I'm not saying, like, you know, seconds a lap. Like, it could have, you know, been, like, a tenth a lap or something. Because of how, like, yeah. <laughs> how just meticulously designed F1 cars are. I don't know. Point is, I don't know why people are in any sort of uproar about this crash, other than they're fucking moronic- oh god. Other than the they're the most retarded people to ever exist. And they don't deserve to even watch F1, or anything, that could give them enjoyment. So, I'm um, back down to third. Oh, I've seen the BMW mate, the mate memes. Hello. How you doing, Plato? What's up, my dude? Nice try. Oh, shit. Oh, he's, he's... He flipped his car. Oh my god. That was beautiful. 
He, he screwed up the entry, slammed into the wall, flipped over. He's out. It's fucking amazing. Why do people suddenly hate Vettel? Like... <laughs> I don't, I don't understand this. Like, do, do people just determine who to like and hate? Just cause. It's like, oh, I choose to hate this driver this week. Why? Just cause. Is it because he's maybe a legitimate threat for Hamilton in the World Championship? Is that it? I hate talking about F1. <laughs> I like watching F1, I hate talking about it because that's really all it is, is just, it's not even talking about F1 itself, it's talking about all the brain-dead, mouth-breathing retards who think everything is wrong with F1. It's a lifetime ban on me, yes. Alright, five to go. There might be a chance that I still win this race. The leader is still not that far up the road. He's been really struggling with these back markers. I've noticed. I'm not liking where I'm catching this Ford either. We have to hate the dominant driver. So then why does nobody hate Hamilton? Why do they why do people, why does the media regard Hamilton as the lord and savior of F1? He's the dom he's been the dominant driver the past 4 years. For the most part, you know, other than Ross Ross Roscoe, yes, no, Rossberg beating him a couple years ago. Anyways, can we go back to talking about BTCC and how everybody crashes everybody? That was more fun. <laughs> Excuse me, menu. That was a cheeky as hell overtake. I don't really care though. He kind of forced me there. Then again, I kind of forced myself up. Yeah, whatever, it's just BTCC. It doesn't matter. Ford takes out the turning or er, braking marker. So you put a cap of their speed, bro, but that's actually, like, what people believe as far as F1 media and Hamilton. They think he's a god and everyone else is shit. But anyways, the racing's enjoyable and it was just a racing incident in the end. I thought that's it. Just trying to take it nice and smooth and easy through the chicane here so I don't spin the car. Got three laps to go. Here at Truxton, race one. Honestly, I really like the fucking, the M8 meme. Because even though it's like four inches, oh, god damn it. Even though it's only four inches, it still looks so much larger than the other GTEs, and it's great. I'm honestly surprised no one ever made a meme out of this with like the Nissan GTR. Considering how much larger it is than every other GT3 car, or the Bentley in that for that matter. Like, the, the Bentley GT3 and the Nissan GT, R GT3 are just great, because they're so fucking large. I wonder if there are any burnout games for PS4. Didn't the, uh, did the Paradise Remaster release for PS4? Other than that, I, I think that's it. <laughs> Because there hasn't been an actual burnout game since Paradise, and 
well, they decided to remaster it for this console generation. One, two laps to go. I can still win this. Just gotta get around this Ford. Without, t without any issues. Whoa. That Ford has a weird engine note, you fucking whore. So I guess I'm finishing second. Maybe, here comes the Honda. Aye, there goes the Honda. Everything is going wrong in the final two laps here. Help. I keep looking back, waiting for uh, Play-Doh to show up there. Remember, he's out of the race. Fuck. Final lap, how far behind the Honda am I? 4.8 seconds. Well, the winning streak is definitely stopping here. At least the podium streak is still going on. You know, pending any more spins. So there's that. Them damn Fords. Truxton has defeated Ultron. Yeah, unless the Honda dies at the chicane, not gonna catch him. That was a really bad chicane. And we're gonna cross the line in third. A comfortable victory in the end then for Menu, who drove a superb race. So, let's have a closer look at the final positions. So there we go, Menu wins the race with Tarquini in second, I take third, so at least it's still on the podium. And uh, yeah, that margin of victory, 13.8 seconds. All these wrecks. And stuff. Here's the rest of the finishing order. Plato retired after flipping in the chicane. On whatever lap that was. Where was my teammate? Oh, there he is, in 12th. I'm like, where the hell is he? Oh, who? Actually finished 12th, nice. So there's race one. Well, it's time so now it's time to qualify for race two here at Truxton. And with that, we'll move on to the next race in the next segment. So with that, stay tuned for more Toka.